Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these pretty granny squares. So for my squares I used a 5mm crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your granny square you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and then wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross, like that. You then want to take your crochet hook, so take your hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit so go underneath this first loop and then using your crochet hook, pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through. And you can then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So we one. are now on to round one of our granny square and to begin this round you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch this just locks our magic circle into place. So now for round one, we are going to do eight sets of double crochet and then chain one. So we're going to do double crochet, chain one into the magic circle eight times. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go into the magic circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into the magic circle. So now you want to chain one. So there we have our first set. So we need to do that seven more times. So yarn over Go back down into the magic circle and work a second double crochet like that and then chain one. So there we have our second set of double crochet chain one. So we need to do six more sets or eight in total. So I'm going to do my third set in the exact same way. then my fourth and keep doing this until you have eight sets. So I have just finished working that for round one. So I have eight sets of double crochet and then chain one into my magic circle. So now to finish this round, we are going to close up our magic circle and join. So to close up the magic circle, you want to take your end or your tail here and you just want to pull this nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle. And then to join, we are going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we work. So here is the first double crochet of the round and if you're not sure which stitch to go into then you can count back 16 stitches. So you'd count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and that will take you to the stitch that you need to do a slip stitch into. So we're going to insert our hook into this stitch and then yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. So work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round one and this is the center of our flower. So the center of the flower in the middle of the granny square. And now we're ready to move on to round two. So we two. are now on to round two of our granny square. And to begin this round, you want to go into the first chain space, so the chain space here, and work a slip stitch. So 
So at the end of last round, we did a slip stitch into this first double crochet. And now we're going to go into the first chain space. So the chain space right after the double crochet, we just did a slip stitch into. So go into this chain space and work a slip stitch. And this is just going to take our yarn to where we need to be to start off this round. So start off round two by doing a slip stitch into the first chain one space. And now you want to chain one, so chain one like that. And now in round two, we're going to be creating the petals of our flower. So what we are going to do is we are going to be working a stitch called five double crochets together into every single chain one space from last round. And then we're going to be chaining four in between each stitch. So we're going to do five double crochets together, chain four, five double crochets together, chain four, five double crochets together, chain four, all the way around. So we're going to start off by working our first stitch, our first set of five double crochets together. And we're going to do that into this first chain space here. So when we do five double crochets together, we are doing five double crochets, but then we are not completing any of them. And then we're going to complete all five of them together at the same time. So we are effectively turning five stitches into one. So we're going to start off by yarning over and going down into this first space. So this is the space that we just did a slip stitch into. Then yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. So just as you would for a normal double crochet, but usually we would yarn over and pull through these two loops here, but we are not going to do that. We are going to move on to our second double crochet. So you want to leave this double crochet incomplete and move on to the second one. So yarn over, go back down into the exact same space again, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have our second incomplete double crochet. So usually we would yarn over and pull through two loops to complete this double crochet as well, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave this one incomplete and move on to the third one. So yarn over, go down into the same space for a third time, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have our third incomplete double crochet. So now we're going to move on to the fourth one. Yarn over, go into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And then finally, we are going to do one last double crochet. So yarn over, go into the same space again, pull up a loop and pull through two loops and we're not going to complete this one either. So there we have five incomplete double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and you should have six loops on your hook. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops to complete the stitch. So there we have done five double crochets together and that is our first petal into that stitch. So the first petal of our flower. So now you want to chain four. So chain one, two, three, and four. So we have done five double crochets together, chain four, and we're going to repeat that all the way around for this round. So yarn over and go into the next chain space here. So go into the next space and we're doing our next set of five double crochets together. So there we have one incomplete double crochet. So yarn over, go into the space and do the second one. Then do the third one, 
So we have three incomplete double crochets, then a fourth, and finally a fifth. So there we have five incomplete double crochets, and you should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops and then chain four. So chain one, two, three and four. So there we have our next set of five double crochets together, chain four. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So just keep repeating that for this round. So I am just coming to the end of round two. So I have one last set to work. So I'm going to yarn over, go down into this last chain one space at the end here, do five double crochets together. Like that. And then chain one, two, three, and four. So at the end of this round, this is what you should have. And you should have eight petals in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you can see our flower is coming together. And now to finish off this round, we are going to work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch that we worked. So here is the first set of five double crochets together and you want to insert your hook into this stitch. So this is the first set. Go into the top of this stitch so it should be kind of a longer stitch and then work a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and now we are going to fasten off so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. So you want to leave a end or a tail like that. And now we are ready to move on to round so three. So we are now on to round three of our granny square. And to begin this round, we are going to start off by attaching our new colour to our work. So you want to take your work like this and in round three we're going to be working in the chain spaces from last round so in these chain four spaces so you can choose any space you like to attach your yarn into so I'm going to choose this one here so you just want to insert your hook into any of the spaces it's just a big circle so it doesn't matter which one you choose then take your new yarn, so you can use whatever colour you like, I'm going with a pink. Place this over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through and then chain one. So take your yarn and chain one. And that will attach your new yarn and your new colour to your work. And now we are ready to move on with the rest of round so three. So now in round three, we are going to begin turning our circle, which we have here, into a square shape. So if you have a look at your work, you should have eight of these chain spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as we are making a square, we need to have four corners. So four of these eight chain spaces are going to be turned into corners and then the other four are going to be turned into flat sides or the sides of the squares. So the space that we attached our yarn into is going to become a corner. So we are going to work a corner into this space here 
and then the next space along is going to become a flat side and then the next one's going to become a corner the next one's going to become a flat side then corner flat side corner flat side and then we are back to where we started so we're alternating between corners and flat sides and every time we do a corner, we are going to work the same set of stitches. So we're going to do the same thing in all four corners. And then every time we do a side, we are going to do the same thing in all four sides. So like I said, the space that we attached our yarn into is going to become a corner. And for a corner, we are going to do a cluster then chain four and then another cluster into the same space. So we're going to start off by working our very first corner. So we're going to start off by working a cluster into this space. So to do a cluster, you want to yarn over, go down into this chain space, yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then you want to yarn over, go into the space, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. Then yarn over, go back into the same space again for a third time, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. So there we have three incomplete double crochets on our hook one two three and you should have four loops on your hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through two of these loops so pull through one and two and then finally yarn over and pull through all three loops on our hook so there we have done one cluster into that space so we have this really pretty long stitch and now like I said for a corner we do cluster chain four cluster all into the same space so now we need to chain one two three and four and now we're going to go back down into the same space again for another cluster so we're going to do the exact same thing as we did before. Yarn over, go into the same space, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. Yarn over, go back into the same space again, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. And then yarn over, go back into the same space for a third and final time, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. So there we have three incomplete double crochets and four loops on our hook. And now yarn over and pull through two loops. And finally yarn over and pull through the final three loops on our hook. So there we have done cluster, chain four cluster. And this is a corner. So whenever we work a corner, which is every other space, we are going to do this set of stitches, cluster, chain four, cluster. So there we have our first corner like that. So now we're going to chain two. So chain one and two. And into the next space, we are going to work a flat side. And for a flat side, we are just doing one cluster. So just like we did here, we're just doing one cluster into this space for a flat side. So yarn over, go into the space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through three loops. So we have just one cluster into that space. So that creates a flat side. And now we're going to chain one and two. 
and we're going to move on to the next chain space here and into this space we're going to do a corner so just as we did back here for a corner we do cluster chain four cluster so work your first cluster into this space like that. Now chain one, two, three, four and then go back into the same space again and do a second cluster. So it's the exact same thing as we did at the very beginning. All the corners are worked in the same way. So there we have done our second corner like that. Cluster, chain four, cluster. So now you want to chain one and two and we're going to move on to the next chain space here and into this chain space we are just going to do one cluster so as this is a flat side we're just going to do one cluster into this chain space like that and now chain one and two. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for this round. We're doing corner, flat side, corner, flat side. And every time we get to a corner, we're doing the same thing as we did here and here. And every time we get to a flat side, we're doing the same thing as we did here and here. So a corner is cluster, chain four, cluster and a flat side is just one cluster into the space. And then in between each chain space, you need to make sure that you chain two. So like we did all the way around here, we did our corner, then we chained two, then we did our flat side, chain two, corner, chain two, flat side, chain two, and you need to make sure that you keep doing that all the way around. So we're going to do our corner, which is cluster, chain four, cluster, chain two, our flat side, which is just a cluster, chain two, then do the corner, chain two, flat side, chain two, all the way around. So I have just finished working that so all the way around for round three and I have done my last flat side and then chained two and then to finish off this round we're going to go into the very first cluster that we worked here so you can see that this is a longer stitch and you want to go into this stitch and work a slip stitch and then you can fasten off so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. So like that. And now we are ready to move on to round four. And if you have a close look at our work, you can see that we are starting to turn our circle into a square. So we have our four corners here like that and if you kind of pull it out you can see that the square is starting to form. So now we're moving on to round so four. So we are now on to round four of our granny square and to begin this round we're going to start off by attaching our new yarn or our new colour to our work 
and we are going to start off by attaching our yarn into any of the corners. So you can choose any of the four corners that you like. So I'm just going to go with this one. So make sure that you're going into the chain space of one of the corners. Insert your hook into the space. Take your new yarn. Place it over the end of your hook and pull it through and then chain one and that will attach your new yarn to your work and now we're ready to move on with round so now four. In round four we're going to continue making our circle shape into a square and we are going to use a similar method to last round so we have the four corners here and in every single corner we are going to work the same set of stitches and then we have the flat sides but in this round we have two spaces for each flat side so one and two and then one and two one and two one and two and in each of those spaces we are going to do the same thing. So it's a similar method to last round, but it's just that the stitches are a little bit different. So now we're going to start off by working our very first corner here. So in the space that we attached our yarn into. And for this round, in every corner, we're going to do three double crochets chain three and then three more double crochets into the space so all into the corner space so start off by yarning over and going down into the space and doing one double crochet then do a second one and then a third so three double crochets then you want to chain one two and three and then go back down into the same space again and do three more double crochets so like that three double crochets chain three and then three more double crochets for the corner and that is what we are going to do in every single corner space so here, here and here. So now you want to chain one. So chain one. And we're moving on to our first flat side space here. And into this space, we are just going to do three double crochets. So go down into the space and do one, two, and then three double crochets into this space like that and now you want to chain one and we have our second flat side space here so we're going to do the exact same thing as we just did we're going to do three double crochets into this space so for every flat side we're doing the same thing just three double crochets into each space like that and now you want to chain one and we are moving on to our next corner and for this corner we're going to do the same thing as we did before three double crochets like that chain one two and three and then three more double crochets all into this space so there i have worked that corner and we're just going to continue to repeat this all the way along in every flat side so here and then here we are going to do three double crochets and then in every corner we're going to do three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. And just like last round where we did the two chains, in this round we are going to do one chain in between each set of stitches. So we're doing corner, chain one, flat side, chain one, 
flat side, chain one, corner, chain one, flat side, chain one, and so on all the way around. So it's really important that you remember to do that chain one or the shape of your granny square will not be right. So just continue this all the way along. So we have done our corner, so now we're going to chain one. Then we're going to do three double crochets into this space. Chain one, three double crochets into the next space, chain one, corner, chain one, and so on, all the way around. So I'm just coming to the end of round four. So I have done my last set of three double crochets and then chained one. And then to finish off this round, you want to go into the top of the first double crochet that you worked. So here, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch and then fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn. And now we're ready to move on to round five, which is the final round of our so square. So to begin round five, we're going to start off by attaching our new yarn into one of the corners. So you can choose any corner you like, and we're using the same method as we have done before. So pull your yarn through, and then chain one, like that. And now for round five, we are pretty much doing the exact same thing as we did last round. So in every corner, we are going to do the same set of stitches, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. So we're going to do that here, 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 and here. And then into every flat side space, we are going to do three double crochets. And then we're going to chain one in between each set of stitches that we work. But the only difference between this round and last round is that each flat side now has three spaces. So one, two, and three. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So each flat side has three spaces, whereas last round there were only two spaces in each flat side. And that is just where our square has gotten bigger. So we're just doing the exact same thing as we did before. So we have our new yarn here in the corner. So we're going to do three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets into this corner just as we did before. So like that, so there we have our first corner done. And now you want to chain one and we're moving on to our first flat side and we have one, two, three spaces. And in each one, we're going to do three double crochets. So here is our first one, like that. Then chain one. Here's our second space. So do three double crochets into this one. Chain one. Then do three double crochets into the last space at the end here. Then chain one. So you can see there are three sets of three double crochets for each flat side. And now we've reached our next corner and we're going to do the same thing. Three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets into this corner. Then chain one, flat side, chain one, flat side, chain one, flat side, 
chain one corner, chain one flat side and do this all the way around. So it's the same thing as last round, just with an extra space on each side. So continue this for round five. And just like last round, it's really important to remember to chain one in between each set of stitches. So I'm just coming to the end of round five. So I have done my last set of three double crochets and then chained one. And then to finish off this round and to finish the granny square, you want to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round and then fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving an end to weave in. And then once you have done that, you want to weave all of your ends into the back of your granny square. So if you turn your granny square over like this, you want to take a yarn needle or a tapestry needle and weave all of the ends nice and securely into the back. If you just cut them off, your granny square will come undone and all of your hard work will be lost. So you need to make sure that you weave them in nice and securely into the back. And then once you have done multiple granny squares, so you can do as many as you like, depending on what you want to make and how big you want to make it. So if you are doing a cushion cover, you may just want to do four or six. But if you are doing a large blanket, you may need to make 60 or 80 or even more, depending on how big you want your blanket to be. And then you want to sew your granny squares together. So I already have a tutorial on my channel showing how I attach all of my granny squares and how I sew them up. So I will have a link to that tutorial in the description box below this video. So if you click on the box below this video, so where it says show more, there will be a link to a video which shows how I attach my granny squares. And in that video, I use slip stitches to attach my granny squares, which would look really nice with these ones because they have kind of a line between them and they would puff up a little bit. But the way that I joined these ones was using the exact same method, but instead of using the slip stitch, I used the whip stitch. So just use the same method as shown in that tutorial, but instead of using a crochet hook, use a yarn needle, and then instead of using the slip stitch, use the whip stitch. And that will give you a nice flat join. So that will give you a flat join where your whole blanket or your cushion cover lies flat. So depending on what effect you like, use either the whip stitch or the slip stitch. And then once you have done that, you can add a border to your blanket. So you don't have to add a border, but if you do want to add one, you could just do a plain single crochet border or a slip stitch border or whatever one you like. But for this blanket here, I did a shell stitch border. So this is really quick and easy to do. You just attach your yarn into any stitch around the blanket, chain one, then do a single crochet into that stitch, skip two stitches and do five double crochets into the next one, then skip two more stitches and just repeat that all the way around. So single crochet, skip two, five double crochets, skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets, skip two, single, skip two, five double, skip two. And you do that all the way around to get the shell stitch border. And then once you have done that, we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my written patterns and also a link to my Twitter. So if you want to go and follow me on there, I like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would also love to see photos of your crochet work. And thanks again for watching. Bye.